Greetings students, this is Professor Caravanos. Let's begin this water chemistry lesson by going over these five areas. Uh, each one will be a short video presentation. Let's start with phosphates. Phosphates uh, are very important nutrients as well as uh, plant nutrients as well as human essential ingredients for life. Uh, if you look at this uh, flow chart here of the, the phosphorus cycle, you'll notice that there is no pollution of phosphorus in the uh, atmosphere. So most phosphorus finds its way either from mining, fertilizer, or just geodecay from uh, mountainous materials onto soil, ultimately into the water. There are two types of phosphorus I want to go over, orthophosphates and polyphosphates. Essentially, orthophosphates are the inorganic salts, uh, usually common with uh, algal blooms and fertilizers. Polyphosphates are a little bit more complicated, and we'll go over those shortly. But if you look at the cycle of phosphorus, especially in, uh, in human blood, it is an it's an essential buffering material for blood. Uh, if you look at this particular graph, you'll see different forms of phosphorus and phosphates and how they all are related. Uh, we have in the insoluble phosphorus uh, on the left at various pHs. Far on the right you also have insoluble calcium phosphorus, so phosphorus is an important uh, chelating agent for uh, materials, as well as a region of greatest uh, solubility. And again, the bottom ordinate is pH and the activity coefficient on the left, uh, what species is each. Uh, before I get into orthophosphates, let me cover polyphosphates first. Um, polyphosphates are very integral in lead control. Uh, what we have here is polyphosphates are added to water supplies, uh, treatment processes. They react with lead and make lead less soluble and more difficult to be leached into water. Uh, you can see here on the right a lead pipe as a water service line. This is very common in old cities, whether it's Philadelphia, Boston, New York. Uh, many brownstones were fed with lead service lines. Obviously, the lead can leach into, ground, into drinking water. And this is an example of where you would use polyphosphate water treatment chemicals to seal that lead coating. On the left,